draw a closed circuit of three inductors L1, L2 and L3 in series showing the current I flow and voltage V1, V2 and V3 across each inductor. So uh, here we are told to draw a circuit of, an, uh, of inductors and the circuit should be in series. So first of all you have to know how the a series connection looks like and also uh, how uh, how inductor is represented in a circuit. Uh, before we can draw the circuit, we can say that inductors are said to be in, uh, in series where they are days chained together in a straight line end to end. Here the keyword is end to end. You connect the com uh, uh, components in series end to end. Then the total inductance uh, is given by adding individual inductances. So these are, are additional points. So let's look at how we can draw this. First of all, the symbol for an inductor, uh, it looks like this. An inductor is just a, a coil. So an inductor looks like this. Don't confuse it with a resistor. For resistor, you draw a zing zang line like that. So, uh, be sure not to confuse the two. This is a resistor. This is an inductor. So, in series, we connect three inductors from end to end. One end to the other end to the other inductor. And this is how the circuit looks like. We have to show, uh, so we have a voltage supply. Let's have a voltage supply. Then, uh, the first inductor, uh, we have, um, let's draw it better. So let's call that L1. Let's call this L2. And let's call this L3. So they are connected end to end and in what we call daisy chain uh, manner. You connect them in a chain, in a sequence. So these, uh, these three will be connected in series like that. Will be connected in series in that manner. Then uh, current current I will flow like that. So it means the, uh, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative. And the reason why we are labeling like that is because we know electrons flow in the opposite direction as the current. So electrons will normally flow in this uh, will flow. Uh, will flow in this direction and the current will flow in this direction. So, those are the three inductors and very important for the voltages, the voltages are not, uh, are not the same to all the three in series. So, Uh, we, sh we can show voltage V1 across L1 like that. For V2, we can show it separately like that. And for V3, we can show it like that. So that is how we show the, in the, uh, the voltages in the inductors. Then, to add on, uh, from these inductors, A L. AL1 should be equals to IL2 should be equals to IL3 IL3 and if this is point A and this is point B 
this should also be equal to the current in should also be equal to the current in the, uh, between the points a and b meaning the current through the inductors is the same now the total voltage in the circuit is given when we add the individual voltages and also the inductance total is also given by adding the individual inductances so those are inductance in series you can go and look at inductance in parallel 